Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Haha! <laughs> Today I am here with the Ipsy Glam Bag reveal and review for June 2019. Happy Glam Bag Plus! I'm so excited. This is the first month of Glam Bag Plus for me. So for those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a monthly subscription service. So for 10 bucks a month, you get five sample beauty products sent to you, or for 25 bucks a month, you get five full size beauty products sent to you. Holy shit. And let me tell you, well, with, with tax, it's like $27. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. But the, re the retail value of my box is, it's because I had to go back and do the math because I forgot. <laughs> so if you wanna see how I got this look, it is so as always, all the products will be listed in the description box below, both Ipsy and otherwise. And if you want to see how I got this look today, then keep on watching. Oh wow, so this thing's ready to come off. This is the Tula Skincare Major Glow Cooling and Brightening Hydrogel Mask. If you have um, basically butter fingers like I do, this thing will totally drag you nuts and because like I, it almost went flying out. Honestly, this is the best hydro gel mask that I have used, and I've used I've used a handful, so that's pretty exciting. Cause like the Neutrogena one was really weird, and that unicorn one too. Oh my god! So let's see what's in this box. So I just took off the mask. I actually have two more of these masks, and they come in this like little Ziploc bag. of the Tula Skincare Major Glow Cooling and Brightening Sheet Mask. There's a set of three. The value of these. $26. Yeah, that's pretty much the price of my entire box. Like after taxes and stuff, it was like $27. But yeah, this says superfood probiotic packed formulas. Bring out your best, most radiant skin. Healthy dose of vitamin C to brighten. Papaya to exfoliate. Uh, makes for super cooling and refreshing post sun treatment. So now that I've read that, I'm saving these for a couple times over the summer and just, just because this is amazing. Yeah, Glam Bag Plus. Super cute box. Obviously, I took the uh, other stuff out. So let's talk about the rest of the things that are in here. I have a set of eyeshadow brushes, which is awesome because the uh, Farah F-A-R-A-H brushes, five piece eye perfection set. These are valued at $50. And I actually have two sets. So I wanna make a shout out to Danny because we did like a little glam trade. So I got brushes from her Ipsy glam bag and a couple other like face masks, which those will be in a beauty haul video that you'll see at some point. <laughs> but I'm really excited that I have that full set. So I plan on using that full set today. Another thing that I have, I have a uh, full-size mascara, Pixie by Petra, Lash Lift 188. Oh, this, so this has two wands. There's a large volumizing brush, the lower chamber that helps thicken and lift lashes, while the upper chamber has a finer precision tip brush that helps lengthen and separate. Holy shit, this is amazing. I had no idea that this even exists. Really excited to try something else by this brand. I know I talked shit about the freaking the toner that I got because I'm like, come on, this value is at $18. So I have an eyeshadow palette, Tetris Ipsy Block Party eyeshadow palette. Ipsy partnered with the video game Tetris on its 35th anniversary to, um, to create a limited edition collection. So this comes with six. It says richly pigmented, velvety, buildable shades to create any look you want from subtle to smoky. This is like super cute packaging, by the way. I really like the packaging. Oh my god. And it's funny, like, I will tell you, Tim got into this before me because he's like, Tetris. And so he had to look at my eyeshadow. Wow. So this is the actual palette. Cute as that. So cute. On it has a mirror and it says block party on it. Of course, I'll remove this like little protector sheet. Oh, uh, there is a little bit of damage there, but I'm not, I don't actually care about that. Looking at this, I'm gonna try and use all the colors today. So I definitely have my work cut out ahead of me because I'm not as inspired as I'm feeling I'm not, like, because I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? And the last thing I'm so excited, like, holy shit balls, the Sunday Riley CEO of Vitamin C Rich 
hydration cream, wholly full size, 1.7 ounces. This retails for $65. So this moisturizer is infused with ultra potent vitamin C. Holy crap, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. And that's actually the next step is moisturizing. So I'm just gonna jump right in the Sunday Riley crap, if I can open it. Ooh, I almost ate some. Oh, it has it has a nice scent. I don't know, there, there's just something about like when you give your skin a boost with, with stuff and whatever. Having a nice subtle fragrance will not make me change my mind on the product at all. Oh my God. Oh, it's like oranges. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, it's really going into my skin. Oh my God, that is such a nice moisturizer. Holy shitballs Batman. So, well, the next step is uh, the eyeshadow palette. I'll see you for that step. As always, everything else that I use on my face today will be listed and linked in the description box below. All right, let's jump into this freaking eyeshadow palette and, and brushes. This is a dually. So I'm going to start with this color here back to back and just buff that all over the lid. How terrible is my face right now, guys? Dude, I just had a fucking meltdown, let me tell you. I legit had to redo my foundation. I don't know what the heck happened. I tried to mix in this Milani shit that apparently does not play well with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm like, okay, well, now that I know that, this first color picks up nicely um, onto the brush. The, the transfer is nice. I'm just kind of putting this all over the lid. I'm gonna take this brush here. I'm gonna go into Skyline and that's gonna go all over through the crease. There is a random brush hair that's like sticking way out. I kinda wanna snip it off but I don't have anything in here to snip it with. That's a really nice color. That is a really nice brown, holy crap. It's not a super warm tone brown, which I have a lot of those between a couple of my palettes that I have. So it's nice that I have an option here. I need to freaking hurry up with this thing that the whole freaking foundation thing gave, gave me like quite the setback. I just, I haven't had to restart anything in a while, so I can usually find a way to like make it work, but that was horrible. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even know. I'm actually going to use my Avon True Concealer. I'm going to pop this on my lid. I'm going to wet this other brush here. And I'm going to go in with this high score color. Let me put this on the outside. That is pretty. Okay. I was almost not convinced that it was picking up the way I needed it to, but it's, it's paying off. I'm trying to get through this. This is just not things out to fuck me today. I'm pressing really hard. I'm not as impressed with this purple. I know purples are really hard to make with how much I gotta freaking dig in just to get payoff. I, yeah, I'm not that impressed with the purple. Really like the brown though. That alone makes it more worth it to me, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm gonna go in with the pink color and I'm gonna bring that over in the middle. Oh, there we go. That's more payoff. You just really got to dig in, I guess. Might need to add more purple to the other side to even it out. I'll totally show you how hard I had to press in here just to get the payoff that I'm looking for. Let me use this little packing brush situation. I am going to wet it too. Any shimmer shades. And I'm going to go into this tea spin up here. Alright. A lot of fallout there. Gonna go right here in my inner corner, blend that in, or attempt to. Yeah, this is like breaking away. I'll go back in with Skyline and just reiterate. Yeah, the apple. I'm, you know, I'm not really. Ugh, I do like the color, but the formula. I could honestly go without this fucking formula because it's it's not friendly as I would like. I'm gonna go into this angled brush here and go in my top out shade and uh, just bring that all the way across. I have so many like better eyeshadows. Like, it's really cool that this is an Ipsy brand and you know, the whole collaboration and story, the packaging is cute. It's not the fucking payoff that I was looking for. Ouch, so much hope. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that light shade and just 
buff to the edges. It is a pretty color scheme. I mean, it's it's fairly usable, but I'd be more I'd be more excited about it if they applied better. So the last thing is mascara. I will see you for that one. Okay, so I'm back with the mascara. The rest of the face is basically done. Highlight. It's amazing how I feel with highlight. Like, let me tell you. I am going to go in with my Pixie by Petra Lash Lift 188. And I'm going to use the uh, little guy first. And I'm going to use it on my bottom lashes. I'm so confused as to how this works. Oh, this goes down through. Never mind. Science. Oh, wow. Probably the coolest mascara I've ever tried. Just keep that on my bottom lashes. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do that. Just to save time. So check the description box. By the time I edit this, I hopefully will try, you know, using both brushes on the bottom and the top lash. So if you're curious on a follow-up as far as as far as that goes, definitely check the description box. I'm so glad I signed up for a Glam Bag Plus though. I mean, even though I did get frustrated with that eyeshadow palette. The other products have been totally worth it for me. There's one product out of it that I really don't like. I can fucking live with that. That's nice to get a freaking full size mascara because then you get like the freaking real deal. I can't close this video like this. I need a lip color. Wow, so this is the finished look. All in all, I think it came together. I'm pretty pleased with it. I mean, overall. I mean, come on. I would say that the Glam Bag Plus is awesome, by the way. The only meh product out of all of these, I would say, is the eyeshadow palette, but I'm used to working with really good eyeshadows, and I mean, let you look. I mean, well, this, as you know, that was there, but look, look in that, this shade here, I really had to di dip in. These two are kind of, that's fine. I mean, there, there was some fallout, but like, look at these, look how nasty those are. I'm heavy handed to begin with, so I'm really not afraid of dipping into shadows as needed. I'm not trying to savor every, like, no, fuck that. I'm going to use it. I, I also learned, you know, when to be more light handed with things like with certain blushes and stuff. No, but when I have to dig in for products like that, I'm just like, <sighs> I will give this another shot and really been enjoying doing this. I kind of want to start amping it up a little bit. I'm really thinking about BoxyCharm too and I think, but the thing is, is like I'm really happy with Ipsy so it's like, well, what do I do? Do a side by side? I do want to make a special shout out. I, I'm a terrible person. I cannot remember the Ipsy service person that helped me out. I didn't, I thought I updated my billing information when my, my when my card expired and then I didn't and then it was like, it was like crunch time because I, I didn't think that I was going to get the June Ipsy Glam Bag but I, then I was billed for it and then I was kind of freaking out like well I don't want to be billed twice and my app was not updating because I have an app on my phone that shows me ipsy haha <laughs> shows me everything okay it had me thinking I'm like oh shit so anyway the, the person that I had uh, corresponded with was absolutely wonderful and because of how wonderful this person is I'm not ready to let go of Ipsy yet like she was absolutely fantastic every step of the way thank you thank you thank you super pleased oh my god that freaking moisturizer oh my god everything holy shit since this is going to be going up before anything else that I'll be filming wanted to make a special announcement to you guys that there are will be some different footage coming probably later on just because of how flow that I get and stuff there's gonna be some, some new stuff coming really excited I have vacation coming up soon and I wanted to do this vacation vlog last year it never happened I'm gonna make it happen this year so stay tuned for new stuff that's coming up yeah as always as a reminder everything will be listed and linked in the description box below and I'll see you on the next one.